Hey everybody, it's Father Sean for another episode of The Couch Chat. And this is the last one of October, which means All Saints Day is on the horizon. So November, November 1st every year is All Saints Day. And so we'll celebrate All Saints Day on Friday this year. And of course we'll have vigil masses on Thursday at St. John in St. Lawrence. Excuse me. The mass schedule for All Saints Day is, of course, in the bulletin. It'll be our normal Holy Day of Obligation schedule. So that's coming up. Love All Saints Day because it's this recognition of all of the great saints that have gone before us, but also the encouragement to join their number. That sanctity is really possible. It's possible for you and I to become a saint. And actually, there's a French philosopher that says the only failure in life is to not become a saint. The only failure in life is to not become a saint. And you think about how true that is. We could fail as an employee. We could fail as a student. We could fail, you know, as an as a athlete. But all of those don't matter. At the end of the day, those don't really matter. The only failure in life that really matters, that has eternal consequences, is if we don't become a saint. And so All Saints Day is this recognition that so many saints have gone before us, so those that are known, the officially canonized saints, and all of the other saints in heaven. So a great feast day that we get to celebrate All Saints Day, Friday, November 1st. If, you pay, if you're, you're attuned to the liturgical calendar, you know that the day after All Saints Day, on November 2nd, is always All Souls Day. All Souls Day is a day when we gather to pray for all the faithful departed, to pray for whether it's our relatives, to pray for um, our friends or family members, or all of those that are in our cemeteries. It's a, it's a day oftentimes when people will visit a cemetery. And so we started something new last year where we had an evening candlelit mass at Immaculate Conception for All Souls Day. That was on a Thursday. That went actually pretty well. We should do this again. As the calendar would have it, All Souls Day this year is on a Saturday, which we already have a full mass schedule. There's actually also a wedding in our parish uh, that day. But we're going to keep doing this All Souls Day tradition, having a candlelit mass Saturday evening for all the faithful departed. And we'll invite those who have lost somebody in the, the previous year in our parish to come for that mass. So that All Souls Day Mass will be a Saturday 7 p.m. Mass. It's a special Mass, so we're going to celebrate the All Souls Day readings, the All Souls Day, um, the All Souls Day prayers. And I know the question you're going to ask is, Father, does that count for our Sunday obligation? The answer is, drumroll please. <laughs> Sound like I was gargling. Yes, it does count for your Sunday obligation. In the Archdiocese of Cincinnati, each bishop is able to set what time uh, you can count a mass for your Sunday obligation. In our Archdiocese, just so you know, any mass that begins at three o'clock on Saturday or after counts for your Sunday obligation. It doesn't matter which readings you use. It doesn't matter uh, if it's a wedding, if it's All Souls Day, if it's a funeral, which would be odd. That happens at like 4.30 p.m. on a Saturday. But so this 7 p.m. Mass for All Souls Day, candlelit Mass, will count for your Sunday obligation. Of course, you can go to Mass twice. I don't know why you wouldn't. Right? I, getting up Sunday morning, it just feels like, yes, we need to celebrate the resurrection. So. To answer your question, yes, it does count for your Sunday obligation. However, why wouldn't you want to come to Mass on Sunday morning also? Are right, we going to praise our Lord for rising from the dead, for making all things new? So, exciting things. I mean, I get it. You know, if you come to Mass on All Saints Day, that's Friday. If you come to Mass on All Souls Day, that's Saturday. Come to Mass on Sunday. It ain't going to kill you. It's going to help you get closer to heaven. So, there are great days in the church up ahead for us. So Father Sean, for another episode of the Couch Chat, we'll definitely see you at Mass at some point this weekend. I know there's a, there's a, a, a lot of opportunities to go to Mass. So hopefully you have a wonderful All Saints Day. Hopefully you have an opportunity to pray for your loved ones who have died on All Souls Day. And hopefully on Sunday you get the opportunity to celebrate the joy of Christ rising from the dead. Father Sean, for the Couch Chat, we'll see you next time. Peace.